Have you ever been in a relationship with a narcissist? That is, someone who seemed to only care about themselves. To be honest, that characteristic can make anyone wonder if their narcissistic partner was even capable of feeling genuine love and care for others, particularly for them. Well, today, we're diving into the mind of a narcissist to answer that question once and for all. First, let's talk about narcissists. We've all encountered them at some point in our lives, from romantic partners to bosses to even friends. Simply put, these people badly need to feel admired and believe that they're the best of the best. And they will go to great lengths to maintain this belief, even at the expense of others. Not to mention they often don't care about others' feelings. But what really goes on inside their minds when it comes to caring for others? The surprising fact is that narcissists can genuinely care for a person. And we even dare say they can love someone. But they do it differently. We've noticed that even narcissists can love others. Although their love might have its limits, it never completely empties. This explains why narcissists have this constant need to refill their love tank without wasting any time. That said, this is where things get tricky when it comes to narcissists and love. See, when they believe that they are in love with someone, they tend to love bomb them. This means they shower the person with excessive attention, compliments, and gifts. It's almost like being in a honeymoon phase on steroids. But when narcissists go on a love bombing phase, it won't always involve the truth. What do we mean? Simply put, they won't think twice about lying to you and making it seem like you both want the same things. They'll boldly look you in the eye and make up a story about wanting the same things you want so they can draw you in and make you fall for their charm. It's like they're declaring deep love for you to the point that they're even willing to make big sacrifices for you. For instance, they might not want kids, while you envision having two or three of your own. Your dream is to become a parent, but they're certain they never want that for themselves. However, they'll assure you that they might change their mind about it in the future. But for now, they want to be with you, because they believe you two are a perfect match. And deep down, they know that they won't change their mind about not having kids. If you think about it, that's what a lot of people do, right? But narcissists, they take it to the extremes because they really want to love bomb the person they're interested in. And during that phase, the feelings can be intense for both of you. After all, you get showered with so much attention by your narcissistic partner that it makes you feel like it's the best part of your relationship with them, which is the common trap that people who get love bombed fall into. As for them, they also feel like it's the best part of your relationship with them, but in a different way. When it comes to narcissists, they really get a kick out of that love bombing phase because they just can't get enough of that constant flow of affection. And you know what drives them to keep searching for new targets to love bomb? It's their insatiable need to boost their own self-image. They absolutely thrive on that phase, finding validation in it and truly enjoying every moment. It's what you can expect from a narcissist, right? Well, here's a plot twist. Narcissists go all out with love bombing when they think they've found their dream partner. To them, it doesn't matter even if you are already in a relationship with someone else, or even married. They truly believe that you're their perfect match, which is why they won't hold back in showing their affection for you. During the love bombing phase, narcissists go all out to shower you with adoration. They even make it clear that they wouldn't normally do this for just anyone. But because you're special to them, they're willing to pull out all the stops. It's like they believe there's no one better suited for them at that moment than you. They might even say something like, I can't imagine you ever leaving because, in my eyes, you're absolutely perfect. And in their relentless pursuit, narcissists take every opportunity to monopolize your time and freedom. They act as if they'll never let you go and want to completely be with you. But why do they get to that state? Before we reveal the answer, by the way, make sure to subscribe if you've learned something new today. Now, here's the thing. Narcissistic individuals have this interesting ability to compartmentalize. They genuinely think they can have feelings of love for multiple people, like you and an ex, separately. And what's more, because they're so good at compartmentalizing, they actually convince themselves that these different relationships won't affect each other at all. This happens because they've put you on a pedestal. They've created this perfect image of you in their head and see you as the ideal match. So even if both of you are already in different relationships, they'll still go after you. They're blinded by their idealization of you to the point that they don't see the reality 
that you're both already taken. It's the reason why the love bombing phase is often referred to as the idealization phase. And at this point, even though you're still getting to know each other, narcissists already have this idealized perception of you, seeing you as this flawless and perfect person they can't detach themselves from. You're the epitome of perfection to them, after all. That's why they want to love you unconditionally and fulfill all your desires. They might even try really hard to align their own aspirations and ambitions with yours, and they'll claim they're even willing to compromise certain things for your sake. But again, it's probably just a way for them to win your affection. And here's something else. During the love bomb phase, it's like narcissists are playing a high-stakes poker game because they're going all in, putting all their chips on the table. They're trying to show how committed they are to the relationship so they can lure you into reciprocating and going all in as well. And once you do, that's when they know they've got you in their grip. But guess what? They show you that they're all in. But a lot of times, you don't see them hiding some chips as they move away from the table. You don't realize they've slipped a couple of those poker chips in their pocket. You think they're all in, but they're not. Meanwhile, you've already pushed all your chips to the center of the table. The thing is, Despite the narcissist love bombing you, they tend to have reservations with people. That is, they do not completely trust them. So much so that even if they tell you that you're the only one for them, they'll be on the lookout for other options. So don't be surprised that they didn't cut everybody else off, didn't get off the dating apps, and didn't remove their profiles on dating apps like Tinder and Bumble. Once you do something that messes with a narcissist's idea of you being flawless, that's when the love bombing stops. And that's something that can ruin their image of you that they love can be anything. It can be something as small as opening your mouth differently. Or something as big as doing something that's taboo to them. Just know that when it happens, their love bombing stops immediately. As if they're going from 100 to 0 in a snap. Yup, it's that instantaneous. Once their perception of you being perfect is ruined, it's impossible for them to go back to that idealized image. As a result, the love they had for you and how they showed it will never be the same again. So, in a way, narcissistic people are capable of love. But the catch is that their love is extremely conditional, depending solely on how they see you. Once they get new information that changes their perception of you, their love for you just fades away. It's like a boulder rolling down a hill. Their affection for you might not disappear, but it's definitely not the same anymore but there's still a chance that they will completely lose the love they felt for you. Even in a situation like that, they might not completely abandon you. Emotionally, they might pull away, but they'll still keep holding on to you physically because they still have some affection for you, even if it's just a tiny bit. But at the same time, they'll be looking at their other options. Remember, even if they're fixated on you, they keep their options open, and this is the time for them to cash in on the chips they've hidden, so to speak. They may even feel relieved that while they were love-bombing you, they kept their eyes peeled for someone else whom they can potentially replace you with. So, what does this mean for you? It means that you have to be careful in a relationship with a narcissist. Their love may seem intense and passionate at first, but it can quickly disappear just as fast as it appeared. And once their idealized image of you is shattered, they'll start looking for someone else who fits their perfect image. Understand that their love is not unconditional, and it's based solely on how they perceive you. As soon as their perception changes, so will their affection for you. There's also a chance that a narcissist is just faking their emotions. After all, there are also those who might not actually be capable of feeling love. So it's super important to be cautious and stay alert when dealing with narcissists, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. And if you liked this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.